All right, so about half a week ago, the uh, Pokemon Center released another wave of the sitting cuties. So I ordered the ones that weren't out of stock that I wanted. And uh, here's the package. There's a whole bunch this, this time that they released that I really want. But unfortunately, uh, seems everyone else wanted them too. So I believe I was only able to get four. And uh, one of them accidentally got sent twice, I think. Let's see. Okay, there's that. Okay. The first one I'll be showing off today is one I've been wanting for a really long time, but is has been too expensive. Uh, here we go, we got Vibrava. So now I have completed uh, his evolutionary line with the setting cuties, which is great. But look at that. It's a pretty nice looking Vibrava. I'm really happy that I was able to get this one. Uh, this one is one that's been out of stock for uh, a really long time. Not uh, through the Pokemon Center. This, this plush actually just released uh, from what I can see. But as far as on eBay, uh, one person who was selling sitting cuties for 20 bucks. I tried to get a Vibrava through them and they said, oh, uh, the Pokemon Center where I live at is completely out of stock. Uh, it was the same with Cradilly. And ever since then, this Vibrava plush has been about 40 bucks on eBay. Which, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be spending 40 bucks on a plush. That's a pretty nice looking plush. Uh, the wings are made out of different material. Uh, it's not the same kind of material that, say, Armaldo and Dustox has on them. Uh, it feels like a really thick fabric. Uh, the edges are sewn, so it adds to the stability of the wings. Very nice. It's got the printing on it. Green, gray. Each wing moves independently, which is kind of cool. Got his little legs right there. Uh, his eyes are made out of the same material as Flygon's eyes, which is kind of cool. You got the st stitched on detail for his eyes. You come down to his mouth. Got his little fangs right there. Very nice. This is a really good one. Ah. Uh, there's the tag. We are given the massive tags. So I guess I'm not sure how this works with the tags, but maybe Maybe the tags are uh, like a regional thing, depending on um, what area you get it from. Maybe you get the bigger ones, maybe you get the smaller ones. I've noticed that the ones that I buy from Japan have the smaller tags, while the ones that have the giant tags come from the Pokemon Center from up in New York. So the next one I have here is... Uh, Skeptile, or Sceptile, however you want to say it, I don't really care. Uh, I have two of these. My order got messed up. <laughs> uh, for some reason, whenever I went to the checkout, it said that I had two in the cart, 
but whenever I'd go to change the quantity, it would only say one. And then I'd hit enter, and then it said one quantity. And I guess they just ended up sending the other one anyways. Not a big deal, whatever. This is a pretty cool looking plush. Having two isn't too bad. Uh, they were completely out of Blaziken and uh, sorry, Swamp Hurt. So I did not get to get those as well. Those are ones that I definitely want. Uh, this plush looks amazing, especially for the small size. It's got quite a lot of detail on it, and it looks like Skeptile. It's very nice. Uh, on the screen, it looks a lot lighter than it actually is. It's kind of more of a darker green. Uh, but I guess that's just the light shining in from the window. It's messing with the colors. Uh, let's see, you got his little uh, leaf parts on his arms. Those are the thin fabric material. Same with the leaves on his tail. You got the seeds on his back. It's pretty nice. Yeah. This one right here is pretty good. Okay, next. Ah, I'll do this one next. Okay, this one is one I've been waiting for for quite a bit. We got a uh, ninjask here. I believe I have. Ninja, I do. Uh, I've been waiting for this one for quite a bit. Uh, I've seen this, I've seen pictures of this one up for a while, and I've been wanting it for a while. I grew up in an area that had a lot of cicadas, and I've gotten to catch a lot of cicadas uh, growing up, so. A cicada Pokemon is pretty, pretty cool, and it brings back some nice little childhood bug hunting memories. Uh, let's see, his wings are, they're thick, and they feel like some sort of, uh, like there's some sort of thin layer of foamy material on the inside, but they're pretty soft. Got nice little details on the wings too. I like the detail on the back too. That is, that's pretty cool. Uh, the leg right here is sewn down, I guess in kind of a sitting position. And then his little front arms are in the same position that they are always shown to be in. Uh, face looks pretty good, and it's a really plump little plush, very nice. This is a good one, too. Look at that right there. Yeah. And the last plush I'll be showing off today, and... Hopefully the Pokemon Center restocks soon so that way I can get some uh, more stuff because there's, there's a whole lot that I want from this wave. Uh, they released, it was either the majority or all of the Deoxys forms and uh, they have the Fossil Abomination uh, Sword and Shield Fossil Pokemon. I like uh, Dracovish and Arctivish, so I'm hoping to get those. Uh, the last plush I have here is uh, Curlia. Very nice. Uh, during my playthroughs with uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I always... Uh, 
I always went with the Ralts to evolve and get a Gardevoir because Gardevoir was a pretty strong psychic type and I never had anyone to trade with so any Pokemon that required a trade evolution was just automatically a no-go for me. I was never able to get Alakazam, Golem, or Huntel, Gorbis, anything like that. So, uh, as far as the psychic type went, that was pretty powerful. Uh, Gardevoir was the one that had to do it, since it also learned electric type moves. That was, that was pretty good. Teach it, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, and, uh, it would help take out Wallace's gym and uh, whoever the water type gym dude was in Emerald. I don't remember his name. It was like Juan or something. Uh, this is a pretty nice looking plush. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Kind of hoping to maybe get the evolutionary line of it too. Uh, not too bad. The inside of the hair right here is hollow. And the uh, little horns on the head are uh, the thin kind of material. Uh, looks like Curlia, pretty good. Arms are in the same pose as it's always depicted being. Kind of the dancing ballerina kind of pose, I guess. Uh, legs seem like they have some cotton in it, uh, at least more than in the arms. The arms seem like they're a bit hollow. And the uh, dress part area right here seems like it's the uh, same kind of material as the horns, except not as uh, stiff. It's more easily movable. Uh, that is a good one, too. So, there's the lot right there. Uh, these ones are pretty good. They're, at least at the time, the first night that this new wave popped up. Uh, surprisingly, these were the only four that were still in stock. And I'm saying surprisingly because with Skeptile, Blaziken, and Swampert were completely sold out and Skeptile wasn't. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen the Ralts line sold up, sold out. Uh, at least whenever Ralts popped up on there, whenever I'd look on there, it was never sold out. I just haven't felt like getting it, really. Uh, Ninjask. Nin Ninkata was sold out for a while. And with Vibrava, he's been such a popular little plush that I'm surprised he wasn't sold out in the first couple minutes of it being put on there. But I guess everyone was, uh, I guess everyone was drawn to everything else that they released because they released some pretty good stuff this time. And I was pretty excited to see that they released some of the stuff that they did. And uh, I'll be keeping tabs on it Whenever they finally, you know, get some more in stock, I'll, uh, I'll get some more of these plushes and review them for you guys and, and add them to my collection here <laughs> that it just keeps going, keeps on going and going. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, cluttered and everything, but, uh. You know, maybe at some point I'll get another shelf and put it next to it. You know, we'll see. But seeing how I'm getting a whole bunch of these plushes now, yeah, I'll, I'll probably uh, do something like that. <laughs> um, let's see. Any news updates? Uh, the thing I have ordered from Etsy about a month ago should be shipping next week. And I am very excited to show you guys what I've bought 
because uh, it's from a pretty popular game, and uh, you know it'll be uh, part of my Halloween costume this year. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Alright, I guess that'll be it for this video. I can't, uh, I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, oh, uh, Dogecoin's getting pretty big. Uh, if anyone is able to invest, I, I recommend it. I've made a couple thousand dollars off of investing in it so far. And, uh, maybe it'll help me get a car. You know, but if I do end up making a lot of money off of it, uh, first thing I'll buy is a uh, older Nissan Skyline, so that'll be cool. I've seen a couple of the R34s around for sale, U.S. legal, and uh, some of the people want anywhere from twenty-five thousand to fifty thousand, from what I've seen being sold so far. For an R34, that's not bad, uh, but I have I have plenty of money invested in the Dogecoin right now. That uh, if it hit if it hit ten dollars, uh, <laughs> I'd probably be able to buy all the cars that I wanted. But uh, that'll be this video. If I do end up getting a car, I'll review it for you guys. Uh, if not, I'll keep reviewing the things that I buy off the internet. Uh, it makes me happy being able to review these plushes for y'all and other things that I have. Uh, yeah, until next time.